Hey, welcome back to uh, Drafting Tutorials. My name is Casey. Um, in this video, I'm shooting uh, a video on Inventor uh, Professional 2018. And uh, when you open up Inventor, this is what you're going to see, <clears throat> uh, especially if you've been working on um, previous you know, projects and, and parts. So as you can see down here where my cursor is, these are parts that I've created. Um, and it'll give you a preview of those so you can just double click on them if you want it'll open up the file uh, So that you can start working on the, the individual parts or if you're wanting to create a new part Just uh, hit this little icon right here called part and it'll open up a new uh, uh, part um, Project for you, but that's not what I really wanted to show you today What I'm trying to uh, shoot a video on is changing the materials on a part so, for instance, we'll just open up a previous one here on this uh, pitcher arm sleeve. <clears throat> this is for a uh, project I'm working on for school, and uh, I'm putting together a uh, pitching machine. So there's an awful lot of parts on it, and I just created this one this morning. Um, but if you wanted to uh, change, let's say you got two pieces that are connected together and you want to change the pieces individually um, as far as material uh, you can click on the item you know select the item and then right click on it um, and it'll bring up this this menu full of options here after you right click so go down to properties click properties it says as feature and from here you can uh, select what kind of material that you would like uh, for the individual part. So for this one, I'm just doing uh, stainless steel or steel. So you can see it changes the uh, <clears throat> it changes the uh, texture of the surface there. So we'll go right click, go to properties. Don't really like that, so we'll go steel polished, and that looks a lot better. I did the same over here on this one, so I just uh, I selected rubber for all the different features within this uh, this part here. But I just wanted to show you that you can also switch it from up here. Uh, this doesn't come in as handy though, as far as like changing the materials for indiv individual items. <clears throat> so if you have like just one part that you're working with, uh, this option up here works great for it because it's really quick to access but again if you're changing multiple parts individual parts I would, I would recommend selecting the part like this right click on it and then go to properties that's all for this video um, if you like what you're seeing go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to the channel I'll be shooting more videos here in the future I will talk to you guys later